uh, Michelle Sullivan, after we wave to uh, Casey Affleck. Parker Sullivan is here, but he's Parker busy drawing, drawing his name. Drawing me a picture. Say hi to everybody on TV. Can say you hi. see you on TV? <laughs> How about that? You see yourself? Great Look, job, buddy. You're pretty you cute go. on TV. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah, he's going back to work now. Michelle, yep. tell us uh, the story that uh, and the journey that has brought you here to the Jimmy Fund Clinic and the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. Sure. Well, um, Parker was diagnosed with ALO um, just on March 1st. So it was Ash Wednesday, um, just a few short months ago, and it was a whirlwind day for us. Uh, Parker had been feeling sick. He had had an ear infection, and it took him sort of a long time to get over it. Um, but he had, even once the ear infection had come and gone, he was really sort of tired and low energy, and he was looking a little pale. Um, so we brought him in. Uh, to see his pediatrician and he had, a, they did the little finger prick and he had a low red blood cell count. So sent us to the ER to do some blood work and lo and behold, um, lots of numbers were low and concerning, uh, which brought us over to Children's Hospital. So this is kind of all in the course of one whirlwind day. Wow, wow. Um, and by seven o'clock that night, he had a diagnosis of leukemia, which in the beginning was shocking, as you can imagine, and wow. really scary. Um, but very quickly, you know, we just discovered that we were surrounded by an amazing, amazing group of doctors and nurses and really everyone um, just kind of wrapped their arms around Parker and all of us as a family. Um, and so all of our inpatient care there at the very beginning was at Children's Hospital and then very shortly uh, he was discharged and all of our care since then has been at the Jimmy Fund Clinic. So we've been going there, you know, at least once a week um, and the care that we've gotten has been just phenomenal. We're so lucky to live so close to Boston and have access to the care um, that we can get here that I think people would probably, you know, travel from far and wide yeah. to get to come and here. Many do. Yeah, they many do. do. Uh, when you go through a day like that and you're just left numb and you're hearing all this and processing all this, how important was the Jimmy Fund and the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute staff to getting you through that, to helping you calm down and realize what needs to be done? I, I don't know how we would have done it without them. I really don't, um, because it was so overwhelming and confusing in the beginning. It was just something that we didn't know anything about, so we had a lot to learn. I need to write my name. Yeah, you sure can. Um, so they were great at just kind of carrying us through the process and helping us get educated and comfortable and over that initial, I guess, shock. Um, and you know, and they're they're just so warm through the whole process. I think they do a lot to, um, you know, not only treat the sort of the medical condition, but really treat you as a kid and give give Parker an opportunity to just do neat things. And a family. I mean, they, family. They, treat they treat the whole family. They, they yeah, really do. Yeah. So our girls have been um, to the clinic. You know, now that school's out and they could go in the summer, so they get to see what it's all about. Um, my husband and I regularly, you know, go to those appointments together. So yeah, we feel like they've been there, um, not just for Parker, but really for all of us. They did this amazing summer um, festival, this like family picnic that they do annually, um, which was such a neat opportunity to get to see lots of other families who are going through the process now, but also families who are on the other side um, who it's really encouraging to hear their stories um, and and I think in a lot of ways they just bring they bring families together so that you get you get that reminder you know I'm not going through this alone there's lots of other sadly a lot of families out there going through similar things and it's great to just have opportunities to talk to people who get it who know what you're going through um, and who maybe have helpful hints of things that have worked for them in the past it's a great network to be a part of what, yes. what, you're, what I'm hearing you say. Yeah, Absolutely. They, they, they we're so, we're so, so blessed. People, yes. Parker, you got to uh, run the bases here at Fenway Park? No way. He did. And this was his special Jimmy Fun shirt. Awesome. Man. Can you, you show, show, right your you show them show your shirt? Look. Show them your shirt. Jimmy Fund. Can you say Jimmy Fund? Ta-da! Jimmy Fund. <laughs> and you got to meet Brock Holt, who plays yes. for the Red Sox. Is he your right? favorite player now? Oh, who's your favorite Red Sox? Brock Yes, there you go. Of course. And Absolutely. today he met Dustin Pedroia, too. Oh, so that was a thrill wow. as well. That's pretty good, that was good, good guy. You want to draw Michelle, some more? before you go, why don't you just look over in that camera, the one on your right. Tell sure. people why they should pick up the phone and make a gift to the Jimmy Fund. Please give to the Jimmy Fund. They do amazing things for all of the families, not just in Boston, but all around who are going through cancer. And they really need your help and your support so that they can keep doing the wonderful work that they do for all of us that brings a smile every time we walk in the door.
Thank you. That's perfectly uh, Perfect. said. Thank you. And as he finishes, we're going to hold this up. Can I show everybody what a good job he does writing his name? Look at this. Can I, we I get know. that? Can you I get that? Look at that. That's Parker. You're four years old. You can Parker write your name. is here and he has left his mark on Tim's folder. <laughs> uh, and we'll save that forever. Guys, thank you for thank coming you so Thank much. you so much. Continued it was a success. pleasure. Parker, give me five. Can you do a big five, buddy? Parker, can you oh, give me five? Right. No, he's way too busy oh, writing his name on busy. everything. Give a big five. Parker, give me five. five. There we go. Five. No, one, one more. more. Oh, one more. He's Don't got... leave him hanging. <laughs> nice job. He signed more <laughs> autographs than Tim Wakefield. And Tim Wakefield played all those years in Major League Baseball. Guys, thank you. We'll come back with more. Thank you.